Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the BenQ GR10 docking solution and in my opinion one of the best docking solutions out there currently on the market. So we're going to start with the unboxing as usual. So let's get it out. Let's get the B Creators GR10 out and we are going to get the dock out of the box. So here it is, and then we've got some paperwork in the box itself as well. So this is a quick start guide, a warranty card, and regulatory statements for Europe. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up, obviously, so don't worry about that. But this is a quick glance at the quick start uh, guide for the B Creators dock. And to be honest, GR10 dock, to be honest, it is pretty straightforward um, to set up anyway. So let's move on to the dock itself and one thing that really stands out it's the aluminum, aluminum alloy uh, surface of the dock itself. It does feel very premium. So we've got the USB-C power delivery in HDMI 2.1 USB type A LAN USB type N A on the back and then we've got the type C on the side. And this is a cool feature. So the dock itself opens up to put your handheld in. So for example, if you've got a Steam Deck or an ROG Ally, which I do have and will show you in a second, you can open it up so to prop it and it is rubberized inside as well. So it doesn't wobble. On the bottom itself, you've got the connector. So you've got a connector. However, the connector itself is also detachable. So it's a magnetical, magnetic switch uh, connector. So depending on the console you've got or how you want to plug it in, um, you've got this 90 degree angle um, connector that um, stays with the cable itself. So as you can see, I've got my trusty ROG Ally first generation over here. And then I'm going to pull the cable out on the bottom and then it nicely fits in on the very top. However, when I'm going to be plugging in my uh, partner's MacBook Air M2 later on, I will show you how convenient it is to use it without the 90 degree angle connector. So, like I said, pretty straightforward. I also have an S9 tab, which I did try and put in and voila, <laughs> it actually keeps it as well. And as you can see, I've removed the connector and just plugged it into the type c port on the side literally this is all it is that's that's how convenient it is but it's great to have that connector already in the box and as you can see it keeps the tablet and then if you've got a macbook for example or a laptop you can just close the stand for your handheld and then just use it as a standard dock which doesn't look out of place and it just takes less space and it's a bit more convenient so that's that so in order to plug it in and start using it um, i'm gonna connect a adapter for my game cyclone controller i'm gonna connect the hdmi to my lg c1 tv uh, this is the 100 watt power delivery cable. So I've got uh, a charging brick that delivers 120 watts power. And then this is the Ethernet cable that I'm also using because why not? Um, so then you open it up, you put your Steam Deck or ROG Ally inside. Yep, it would be useful if we would get the cable out. And then you just plug it in and voila, that's literally all it needs, all, all it requires. And that's it, you're in. So this is my 65 inch LG C1 that I've got, as you can see, the ROG Ally connected via the dock to the side. As you can see, it does fully support FreeSync and VRR that the Ally has as well, which is brilliant. Um, because not every docking solution does actually support that and they are quite cumbersome. Um, it works with MSI Claw as well, ROG Ally X. However, ROG Ally X is slightly thicker, so it doesn't fit in the actual stand. However, you can still plug it in and you can still use it. So, you know, there, there's, there's no dramas. And as you can see, the FreeSync is on. So, and delivering 120 hertz um, and frames per second. So the dock is capable of 120 hertz at 4K or 
hundred uh, sorry 60 at 8k so it goes up to 8k i don't have an 8k tally so i'm not going to try and test it but it does actually support 8k at 60 hertz so at the minute as you can see i'm running on 4k at 120 hertz uh, the HDR is supported and as you can see you've got different um, variations of um, uh, Hertz so here are all the options available on Windows as you can see Windows 11 which is on the ROG Ally and these are all the options However, if you're thinking like, actually, you know what, I need to do some work. As you can see, quite conveniently, I've got an iPhone 11 placed in the actual stand of the dock itself. And then I'm plugged into a MacBook Air M2. So, you know, like I said, you can prop the stand open. You can close it down if you'd like to. Um, I use it as a stand for the phone itself. I had to pinch that MacBook from my partner, but as you can see, it works brilliantly. It it just works, and this is what you need, especially uh, nowadays. You just want something to plug in and work, which is what the BenQ GR10 actually provides, um, which is brilliant. So just to remember that you need a sort of a charger, obviously, to use it. Now, with the MacBook, I'm using a 65-watt charger. However, if you want to provide a 30 watts for Ally, ROG Ally, you will need at least a 100 watt charger. And in here, I've got a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 connected and using it for DeX with my De trusty Dell monitor. So as you can see, I've got um, DeX connected and again, it works fine. Obviously, you don't have to use DeX, but I do really like using DeX on the S9. So this is what the G10 actually allows me to do. So like I said, it's a very versatile, but very easy to use um device to be honest and this is one of the main features of the dock itself it just works so that's that we've got this set up but let's actually have a look so as i said we're going to do some gaming so cyberpunk 2077 uh, the game runs at 30 watts with the FreeSync and VRR on because this is both what the Tele, ROG Ally and the dock itself do support. So again, if you're looking for a VRR dock, um, look no further than the GR10. And yeah, it's, you know, it's an amazing convenience that you do have that you can just chill on your sofa while playing on the Ally on the big screen. And as you can see, the Ally does actually run Cyberpunk really well, uh, which is one of my favorite games anyway. And it's not because I'm Polish and it was made by potentially Polish studio. CD Projekt Red is not completely Polish. Um, obviously, it's a multinational company now. But yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews.